What's up you guys, my name is Olivia. I'm going to show you how to create this design using Canva Pro and Photo P. All the links for all the items I use will be in the description below, including the font style and where I got these mockups from. Let's start. First, I go to canva.com, go over to create design, go down to custom size, and we're gonna put this in inches. This is going to be 14 by 16. Now we're going to go ahead and add some text. And I'm gonna press, I'm on a MacBook, so I press Command D to duplicate make it a little quicker I don't know how many text boxes I'll need I just like to go ahead and put them up there let's go ahead and type out what it is what the saying will be I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bit bigger now the font style I am going to choose is one called sunrise you can just highlight everything and choose the font style you want. I just want a little space between the text. Select everything, go ahead and enlarge it some. Okay, this is how I'm going to have my design laid out. Now, you can change the color of this if you want to. Today, I'm just going to keep it black, keep it simple. But if you wanted to change the color, just come up here to text color and change it to whatever color you'd like. Like I said, today, I'm just going to keep it black. Now, I have Canva Pro, and you do need Canva Pro in order to make it a transparent background. So go over to Share, go down to Download, go to File Type PNG, go down to Transparent Background, and press Download. Now, we're going to head over to Photo P. This is a free online software. And what I'm going to do is take the design. I'm just going to drag it over. It'll automatically bring this page up here. And I'm going to go over to Edit. Go down to transform go down to warp and then come up here to style click right here scroll all the way down so you can either do this design here the flag edit the bend how crazy or how wavy you want it to be but i want my top and my bottom to stay straight so i'm going to x out of that i don't want that style so i'm gonna go back to edit go to transform warp and then i'm going to go up to style again and click wave all right now i'm going to play around with this and see how wavy i want this to be you can use this bend feature right here and you can also click these grids the grid lines and edit it yourself as well So there we have it. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to file so I can save it. I want this to be a PNG file. Save it how you want to save it. I'm just going to put today is in PNG format. Leave everything the same and click save. It's going to save to your computer. I'm going to go back to Canva so I can add a couple of graphics to this. I'm going to make a new page. Come down. Go to uploads and I'm just going to drag and drop okay now i just want to add a couple more elements to this i'm gonna make this a front and back design so this part of the design is going to be on the back of the shirt but i'm going to go ahead and add an extra design to this a graphic design so you can either press r on your keyboard to just bring up a square or you can go over to elements go to line of shapes and click the square okay and I just need one. If you just resize this freeform, it's going to just do the square any type of size. So what I do is press shift key on my keyboard, do that, and I'm gonna drag it over to the edge right there. I'm gonna go ahead and make the square black to match my font and or my text. Now I'm just gonna make the checker design. Okay trying to decide if I want it to be two rows or three rows. Let's stretch this out. 
I'm going to put one more row. So let's do three rows. Okay, now let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and group this so that way the squares don't go anywhere. And I'm going to go ahead and move this up a little bit closer to my design, my text. Okay, and uh, sometimes they normally have some type of graphics around the text. So I'm just going to type in spark, spark star, something like that. And just use, I'll use this right here. I don't know, that looks blurry. Let's try again. Let's use this here. Okay. I'm just going to put one at the top somewhere like that. Duplicate right here. And there we have it. So this is the um, back part of the design. I'm going to go ahead and make the front part of the design for the chest piece. So trying to think, what do I want? I'll just do something like a peace sign. Since it's talking about being, it's a positive quote. So let's go ahead and go with this one here. Now I'm gonna bring up a text box. I'm gonna type the exact same thing. So let's make that same style. Sunrise. I'm gonna go up to effects. Go down to curve. Let's curve it. Let's make the text a little bit bigger than that. Okay. Bring it around. Now I'm just gonna go back to that. Um, spark graphic I had for the back put it right here and uh, just size it up to the size of the actual canvas and bring it to the center a little bit today is a great day to smile and be happy all right and there we have it so that's the front part of the design for the chest piece and here is the back part and that is how you make a wavy text design for your t-shirt